Hey, welcome back to the channel. This video is uh, it's a mashup of three different hunts in the same area. And if you stick around to the end, you'll see my first actual real relic. That's right, <laughs> an actual relic from probably 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s, maybe but I'm guessing more towards the 1800s. So stick around, there's three parts, and in the end, you'll see the relic. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another dig, and we're gonna find out what's in the ground. So come along, follow me, hit the like button, hit the share button, leave a comment, and let's go find some stuff. All right. Just got my uh, first target and uh, pull it right here out of the ground. And we got a nickel. Got a nice red sheen to it. 77. All right. So we're on a start. Well. For my next find, uh, I got a penny. It's a crusty penny. Can't tell the date on it, but it's a penny. Throw it in the pouch. Okay. Got a new find. Yeah, it's a quarter. And I believe that's a state quarter because that doesn't. Oh well, no, that's an eagle. So it's not a state quarter. Nineteen eighty-five. There we go. Okay. Well, I just got another fine, so it's another penny. Pretty crusty. Nothing old, but stuff is coming out of here. Alrighty. A really crusty penny. That's a memorial I can tell from there, but no date on this one. Keep going. These pennies are definitely corroded. What well, I could barely see the memorial there, so another penny. That's pretty cool. It's a pin, hitch pin. Pretty big, rusty. We'll find some more treasures. This penny came out a little bit better. 1970. So that means it's more copper than anything else. All right, that's good. Well, this is the first. This is a shield penny. Okay, so it's a new one. This is definitely the hard way to get rich. Penny by penny. These pennies coming out of the ground, definitely corroded. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the first Rosie out of here. It's a dime. Dark color. Scrape some of that mud off. It's got a nice red shine to it. But that's what it is. Pennies are still coming out of here. Pennies are still coming out of here. So 
Here's the memorial. I didn't record, I didn't record this one, but looking at it, at coming out of the ground like that, you might think that was the tip of some big bullet or artillery shell or something, but I think this was a underground or underwater light. Uh, pretty interesting. But we'll find some more stuff. This is going to be my last find. It's a penny. It's got a pretty good color to it. And uh, it's getting cold. Sun's going down. I'm going to call it a night. And uh, after all, I've got this underground light, I believe, here. I'm pretty sure. There's a wire, this glass. Yep, that's it. All right, let's do a quick roundup. So I got some cans here. My collection of pull tabs is growing. I got a bunch of pull tabs. I got a zipper pull, I got some pennies, a dime, a nickel, and a quarter, and that piece of lead. And I got some really sharp metal out of the ground there. But, yep, that's it. So, did a little quick uh, two hour hunt. Trying to burn off some uh, leftovers from Thanksgiving. So I hope you and your families had a great thanksgiving day and uh come back again and see another show so remember wherever you go and whatever you do have fun as long as it's legal thanks for watching come back again for another episode and another adventure hey welcome back i'm steve your host for the redheaded adventures I'm back out in this field where I have permission to do uh, some metal detecting. Uh, a little background history on this. Back in the corner over here, or even in this field itself, uh, on an old map, it used to be a hospital at one time. Uh, and then this was converted into a uh, drive range for golf. And after that, it turned into a parking lot for the fairgrounds so we're gonna try over towards the back corner there and see if we can find anything of historic uh, reference so stick around hope this is a good one the weather's good sun's up this morning we had uh, frost on the cars and the other night it rained its butt off so I'm dressed up for a little cooler weather today but let's get the swing and put the coil to the soil. Well, I tried that area back there and it's too sloggy from the rain. And I get a lot of false signals from uh, iron rusty nails and not very good targets. So I'm gonna go back over that way where I was finding coins and swing around some more. All right. Well, it's uh it's warmed up enough that I took my jacket off <laughs> and uh, I got my first coin find. Take a look. I popped it right out of the hole and automatically a memorial. Pretty crusty there, so I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get a date off of it, but being a memorial, no big deal. Let's go find some more stuff. Well, I just turned the soil and it's right there. What do we got? Oh, it's a nickel. Look at that color. OK, 
Okay. Let's look for a date. Uh, and it's not an old one. I think it says 1980 or 86. All right, good find. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm back out here in this field. I wasn't able to finish that last video. I wound up uh, having a strained muscle in my back, which was then causing me some bad headaches. So I'm gonna back out here. Got a little break in the weather. We're gonna try and find some stuff before it either rains or it gets dark. So stick around, let's go find some stuff. Right here. Uh, as you can see, I put the standard coil back on. I'm running in Queens mode. Ground balanced and I got something right here in the hole. My scraper, scrape that back and it looks like my first coin. First coin is a penny. A Lincoln Memorial. There you go. First coin. I just got another coin. Just knocked it out right there. Got a nice red patina to it. Turn it over and it's a memorial. So nothing old yet. They're out there, we'll get them. Ah oh, man, it's starting to rain. I just got me another coin, right there. What do we got? Oh, nice quarter. <laughs> it's gonna rain on me. Uh, whoops, dropped it. See if there's a date on this. Just a second, I'll be right back. Well, it was gonna rain on me, so didn't last very long. Quarter. Looks like a 71, 77, something like that. Not old, not silver. But it's a quarter. Yeah. Well, the rain only lasted for Hi puppies. Rain lasted only for a minute. Back on it. And I got me another penny. And it's a memorial. Hey, you know you're ruining my shot. Here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Can't talk over the dog. <laughs> I'm on another coin, right? Hey, there. A dime? Yeah, it's a rosy. And flip it over. There's the pillars. Uh, of course, you know, you got to check the dates on these. If it's anything, I'll let you know. Got good signal. Dug this up. It's starting to fall apart. It's been in the ground for quite a while. It's a shell casing, brass, center fire. Uh, I'm going to guess it's around a uh, 32 caliber. I don't see any markings on the bottom. Um, thirty eight special. 38 special. I got good signal right here. Dug it up, popped it out, and 
it has a white patina to it. So I'm thinking lead. I don't know. Maybe this is my first musket ball. I am. <laughs> this is really cool. Almost looks like a seam right there. And the end looks like you would tamp down. That's a cool find if that's a real musket ball. We'll take a look at it later. Back on the coin find. Uh, that's another Lincoln Memorial. All right, let's go find some more. Got me another coin. And clean it off here a little bit. And verdict is stinking Lincoln. Well, it's getting late, it's getting dark. I didn't find anything else uh, since that last coin. Yeah, nothing as cool as that possible musket ball. I'll have to get a home, measure it, check it out. But it's definitely been in the ground for a while. Lead has that white patina. Hey, well, this is the roundup. That was three different days of hunting at the fairgrounds now uh the first one was just a short hunt and before it got dark the second one i wound up getting a migraine and having to go home early so i didn't finish that hunt and the third one is where i found my first relic yes it's a relic so Let's go over that real quick. Ooh, so some of my finds, um, this is that 38 special. Uh, this one here I didn't show you, which is actually a 30 carbine. This would have been in the M1. Uh, some coins, and then here is my relic. Now I call it a relic because of the research that I've done is that mark right there is where the sprue would have been, where they would have cut it off after uh, breaking the mold. Now, that circle that you can see right there, that is caused by the starter rod when they first put it in the barrel. And that would leave that circle. And it has this white patina, and it has... Uh, a nice seam around it from the mold now we I have my micrometer here we're gonna turn that on and we're gonna zero that out and let's go with inches so now if this is the right size we will get now make sure I'm not on the sprue I want to make sure I'm not on a seam and that reads 0.53 now <laughs> the significance of that is that a 0.53 means it's a 54 caliber musket ball Yes, a real musket ball. Now I'll put up a picture. I'll show you that has uh, anatomy and one that has a size chart. This is a cool find because this is my first actual relic. Really cool. And there's probably more out there. But anyways, I'm happy with that find. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was kind of uh, mismatch and kind of put together but, uh, I will be definitely going back out to that field and doing some more hunting so thanks for watching <laughs> hit the subscribe hit the like leave a comment and come back again next week for another adventure with me Steve on the redheaded adventure thanks for watching remember wherever you go and whatever you do have fun as long as it's legal thanks